the person who says he or she will get up at five in the morning is not the same person who throws the alarm clock out of the window. Addictive and negative sub-personalities are very real. Perhaps you have experienced making a statement of intention as to a course of action only to have it hijacked or simply not come to fruition because a addictive sub-personality came along and had other ideas. And so you were not able to achieve your stated objective. One of the basic principles of the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for Compassion and Strength identifies the varied eyes, the egos, the illusions of the ego, the many facets of the illusions of the ego that we define as I, me, I, you, we, I, really is just an illusion. Because the unawakened person is not a unified person. You still serve many masters and not the ultimate master. The unawakened man is not a unified person. He has dozens of selves within him, each falsely calling itself me. The many eyes within a man explains many mysteries about human nature. For example, a man decides to give up an undesirable habit, but the next day he repeats it again. Why? Because another entity, sub-personality I, has taken over an energy blockage that likes the habit and has no intention of giving it up. Within the disciplines of transactional analysis, we can begin to understand the games people play, games people play with each other and with themselves ultimately. But this understanding will revolutionize what really goes on during our most basic social interactions. Look into Carl Jung and his archetypical subpersonalities. Moreover, subpersonalities and thought forms in Tibet. There's also L. Ron Hubbard and his work with Dianetics, where beings or entities, energy blockages, or what are what is known as body thetans, BTS, that are located in the body or around the body are inhabiting various things like a body part, a bone, arm, cell, or they are particular sub-personality or conditions such as a TV watcher, a fear, a worker, a solitary angry man, and so on. People get confused as to who they are and who they are not. A peer person hears these voices or feels desires and so on and thinks he or she is the source of them, yet you are not necessarily the originator of these thoughts or impulses. So by identifying who is the source of these vocalizations or impulses and spotting where it is located and removing it, you are free to think for yourself. Subpersonalities in people are created to make them weaker. They are created by the digital matrix to enslave you. The younger we are, the more we are affected by physical and emotional shocks to the system. Traumas which create negative emotions, anger and sadness are caused by energy blockages. These traumas split off the ego programs into inner children, sub-personalities who sabotage your life thereafter. Please. Do not succumb to these inner demons, inner little children. I want you to hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for further information disseminations from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion, strength, and energy enhancement. Namaste. Namaskaram.